guys, this is Emily, and today I have a really cool pick a card reading for you. It is on what is blocking you from your financial success. Now, as you can see, I have a couple of things over here. And I'm actually going to do a video tomorrow. My web developer is going to um, video me doing it at my shop. And so I'm not going to go into too much of this right now, but I wanted to have this here for you just to take a look at. These are some of the things that I sell at my shop and I help people with finances, people that are blocked financially, um, people that are looking to improve their financial um, situations, people that basically are blocked financially, um, if they have bad luck, if things are just not going right for them. And I just wanted to have some of the stuff that I work with here just so you could see it and just to kind of have it look nice here on my table for you. Feel free to make any comments if you're interested. And I'm gonna have that video made for you tomorrow. And you can take a look at it. I have a very good service that I offer. It's called Setting of Lights. And these are my, you can laugh if you want, they are my magic candles. They truly are magical. They are unbelievable. My vendor is off the hook. It's from a family here owned um, in the United States. It's a small family. This is not a factory. These are not Indio candles. These are not wisdom candles. These are made um, from a small family owned company here in the US. I will not give my vendor up. I won't give my vendor up if somebody puts a gun to my head and they burn extremely well and they do what they say they are going to do. I will tell you that right now. They are truly amazing and I'm gonna have a very special offer just for my YouTube subscribers. So, Stay tuned for that video tomorrow. It's going to be me, and you're going to see me as well. I'm going to have my uh, happy face on for you, and I'm gonna be in my shop showing you what I do, and if you're interested, I would love to be able to help you with that, because uh, if you are having reoccurring money problems, then that's something that we can, we can fix, okay? Because I fix it for people all of the time. But let's get into the reading. <clears throat> let's see what's going on. As always, four oils that we're gonna pick, and they are green to match the occasion. The first oil for pile number one is Aroma Ease. Aroma Ease. Pile number two, we're working with Idaho Balsam Fur. I love this one. This one smells so good, nice and fresh. Pile number three, we have Mountain Savory. Now be careful with number four. Just because it sounds really great doesn't mean this is your pile. Number four is Peace and Calming. Again, go to the oil that you are called to. Just because it says Peace and Calming doesn't mean, oh my God, yes, I want Peace and Calming. I'm going to that pile. Go to the pile that calls to you. I'm gonna put them in the details so that you can look them over. And without further ado, we're gonna get started. So the question is, what is blocking you from financial success? You're trying to be financially successful. You're doing everything you want. You're doing everything you can do to be financially successful, but it's not happening. It's just not happening. What the hell is going on? Let's figure it out right now. I'm using a couple of decks and truth be told, I am using two Oracle cards today, which is something I do not normally do because a lot of YouTube people do that and I really don't, I like to do my own thing. 
but I decided to do that because I know you guys are really into the oracle cards and I figured, eh, I'll use some oracle cards. Um, but that's usually traditionally not something that I do. But I do have them for today. All right. This is interesting what we have here. Okay, pile number one. It looks like there was some sort of quite a devastating blow. Okay, and in this deck, okay, we've got the Ten of Swords here and the artistry here is very beautiful. I have a lot of decks and a lot of the artistry is beautiful. This Ten of Swords usually has a man laying down with Ten Swords through him and he is dead. But if you look in this deck, the woman or the man has gotten up from the swords and she or he has walked away. Very interesting, right? Looks like this, thanks for killing me, but I've actually gotten up and walked away. I have survived this horrible attack, right? And then next to it, we have the Nine of Rods and this person looks pretty pissed they're like I'm not walking away from these rods I'm holding on to them I do not want to change I do not want to do what you want to do I'm staying right here I am happy I am safe I'm where I want to be what's the point okay great great Emily what's the point okay well the point is go back to the question always go back to the question what is blocking you from financial success. Okay, well, the first thing that is coming up here to me is there looks like there was some kind of devastating blow. Maybe you were fired. Maybe you did not get the job that you worked so hard to get. Perhaps it was a promotion. Perhaps it was something that you thought you were going to get. Perhaps somebody backstabbed you at work. Um, but something happened that was quite devastating but you know you got up from it you, you know you're not lying here dead that's a figure of speech guys but now you're like you're kind of like um yeah I, i'm not gonna have it i'm not gonna have it i there's a very you're <laughs> you're you're being you're i'm getting a little bit of a bratty energy here okay you know that I'm going to tell you like it is, right? I'm a tough reader. Um, and the thing is, is that right here, smack dab in the middle, is the Wheel of Fortune. Here's your money right here. Here's your progression. Here's your let's move forward. Are you ready? Are you ready to move forward? Are you ready to go get that success? So here's you. Beautiful. Beautiful deck. Love this. Two of Swords. Stalemate situation. Catch 22. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. You're like, really? Are you sure that this is a situation for me? Because I'm not sure about that. I've got my blinders on and I've got my swords next to me. Because, you know, how do I know that you're not going to try to fuck me over again? Huh? How do I know that's not going to happen? And here's the thing. Maybe you're an air sign, maybe, okay? But we've got the page of swords here. And ha, by the way, I had a comment, somebody commented on me about page of swords, I didn't read it correctly. You guys, I don't read the cards literally. Literally, I read them the way that Emily reads. And Emily reads a very specific way and a specific style and it's what works for me. It's been working for me for a long time so I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Here you are, page of swords, and you're, you're not very happy. You're not very happy. And this is in regards to your success. And here you are. I call this my crack cocaine card. Don't get ahead of yourself. It doesn't mean you're doing crack and cocaine. But look at this card. It is so interesting. There's like a lady's head coming out of one. There's a castle coming out of another. There's a necklace and a snake coming out of, an, uh, coming out of the other. Remember, smack dab in the middle of the reading was the Wheel of Fortune. 
there's your success. There is your, you're blocked, right? You're being blocked from that. When I see the Page of Swords, do you know what I think of? I think of like a bratty little kid who's like, you know, I don't think that I have to really make a decision right now. Besides, there's too many decisions to make. In this specific card right there, it looks like there's bat wings. That is the, the intuitive decision that needs to be made. But what you are doing, Aroma Ease, pile number one, you're thinking about all those decisions. They're going through your head like a bat out of hell. And then we go down here to our little oracle card. Sorry guys, I gotta kind of make fun of the oracle cards. And look what we have. Confront. <laughs> Confront. Confront? What's going on, man? Why are you feeling like this? Why can't you let go of this? Because you know it's you know it's there. You know this happened. Where is it? Ten of Swords. Something happened here. This is a general reading. I am not reading you one-on-one. -on -one. If we were on Skype right now or over the phone, I could read you like a book. But you're one of tens of thousands. So this is a general reading. I can't pick you, I can't pick you up deep, detail by detail. But you are holding on to something, man. You're holding on to it. Look, look what my next little card is. I'm getting all tied up here. Look what my next card is in the Oracle deck. Walk away. Let it go. And by the way, I don't know if that's really the meaning of this. I don't care. That's how I read it. I don't care what the meaning is. That's how I read it. Walk away from this idea that you are, you know, maybe not safe or it's not going to serve you well because right here, you're not safe. You don't feel safe. You think you might get effed over, right? And your mind, you can't make a decision. You cannot make a decision. This is what is blocking you from financial success, okay? Are you understanding what I'm telling you? Because your financial success is dead set middle, right in the middle of the deck. It's the wheel of fortune. It's money, it's success, it's luck, it's the wheel turning in your favor. This is, like, this is as specific as I can be in a reading that I don't have your name, I can't see you, I can't talk to you, we, we cannot interact. But that is what I have for you, pile number one. I hope that helped you. Um, I think that that hopefully gave you some information. I, it gave me some information. So pile number one, that was your reading. And we're moving on to pile number two. Uh, pile number two is Idaho Balsam Fur. If you are Idaho Balsam Fur, pile number two, this is your reading. What is blocking you from financial success? All my stuff is getting all tied up. Just ignore that. Okay, let's see what we have. Let's get the answers so we know what we can do about it. If we don't have the answers, how do we know what to do? It's about getting to the root meaning of things, you guys. Let me tell you something. I'm going to do a video on this soon. Readings that are really happy and make you feel like everything's so wonderful in life, that's not a real reading, you guys. I'm going to tell you that right now. A good dynamite reader is not going to leave you feeling like you're in candy land and you're playing shoots and ladders. That's not realistic. It's not. 
okay? It's just not. A great, awesome, talented, experienced reader is going to get to the root of situations and make you think. Make you think. People have sent me comments and emails and they say, well, I don't understand your reading. Well, have you dug in? Have you thought about it? I'm not the one that has to explain everything to you. You think about how this relates to your situation. That's a good reader. That's tough love, guys. But that's what we need. We need tough love. Okay. Um, pile number two, what is blocking you from financial success? The first thing we've got is the king of rods, wands, rods, same thing. So, you know, possible fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You know, um, Jupiter bells, cornucopia. Oh, wow. See, again, very interesting. Okay, I'm not going to jump. I'm not going to jump. Um... Yeah, this, you know, just looking at this briefly, this is like kind of a little bit similar, but in a different uh, timeline to what we just saw. Okay, so perhaps you are the king of rods, okay, or queen, right, male or female. It looks to me like we've got you we've got you here as the fool and in this deck it's really interesting because so you guys the dog is snoring I don't know what to tell you I'm sorry what am I gonna do the fool is coming up and look at in this deck it really truly shows to me how the fool is because the fool truly is like that happy-go-lucky I'm off on a journey I don't know anything about what I'm doing I have a knapsack Look, she's even barefoot. She's like, I'm ready to take off on the world. I sure hope I know what I'm doing. Who knows if I make it out alive? Okay. Then we have the page of cups. A page is somebody who is, you know, and it depends on the question, guys. Okay, I'm going to read a card differently depending upon the question. But here we have a page of cups, which is somebody who, um, this is usually somebody sensitive, but it's somebody who it's, it's somebody who is there to most probably learn something and come with a message. Okay. So I feel like this could be you possibly in the workplace. Perhaps you were in the workplace, but this is what I'm seeing. I feel like this is something that happened and took place. Then we have Ooh, and in this deck, it looks bad. The tower. This is bad news, man. Look at this tower. This guy, God, he's been working out. He, he's falling out of the tower to his death. I'm almost getting a sense of either you came in as the king of rods, or this could be a boss. It's one of two things. Either this was a boss who hired you, or you thought you were a king ready for a position and then when you went in perhaps you realized you were more of a layman hey hey sorry I'm trying to make him quiet perhaps you went in and you realized you were more of a layman because what i'm seeing is i believe that something negative happened here again were you fired possibly something negative happened within the workplace within your traveling to make something happen within this successful field of attaining your job something very negative and what I see next to it and I'll tell you why I feel like it happened at your job when, when we get down here. Here we have the good old two of wands. And when, whenever I see this, this is the choice card. Make a choice. We have two boxes and one key. Which box do you want to open? The top or the bottom? You've only got one, one key. Don't get greedy. Which box do you want to open? 
Well, hello, mister. Ding, ding, ding. Wheel of Fortune style. Ace of Coins. You want the money. You want the money. You want the freedom. You want to unblock yourself. That's awesome. But look at what we have down here. We have a Choose Your Battles card. Choose Your Battles followed up by, and I have to admit, you guys, I had to look this up online. This is pretty hilarious. I didn't know what this word meant. Ha ha. Cornucopia. I was like, damn, what's that word mean? This is just is very similar to the Ace of Coins, Cornucopia. This is, this is good, okay? This is showing me, yes, you've been blocked, but you can have your success. So look, what, what this tells me is, in my opinion, I feel like there was probably some kind of misunderstanding. I think that it could have had something to do with leadership. Um, I could be wrong on this, um, but I, I feel that there was something to do. You were coming in as the fool who didn't, you uh, amateur, novice, layman, whether you were already on this job or you were starting something new in this job because a page is somebody who is just, they're new at something, they're at the bottom. But then, like I said, there seemed to be some kind of event that took place that was very negative. And then I think that you were given some kind of choice. But the thing is, is that it doesn't show me that it ended up poorly. So I feel like the blockage is almost within yourself, like within your own self-esteem. Choose your battles tells me that, just, just like that said, be humble. Decide when to throw rocks. What is that saying? Don't throw rocks at glass houses. Respect authority, okay? Again, take this all in stride, you guys. I'm not trying to be, you know, whatever you get it okay this is what's coming up here and and see even still look i love this card i love it look he's standing up so small to these bigger people know your space know where you stand with things because if you don't we could see the tower and it could mess up your money. Do you want that to happen? It could mess up your success. It could mess up your ability to have this little cornucopia card down here. <laughs> I gotta laugh at that, guys. Okay, so I don't want to be repetitive and keep saying the same thing. Sorry, guys. I don't. I don't want to be repetitive and keep saying the same thing. You. You. Um. That's what's coming up here. Just think before you do things. And don't allow. What I got with the first two piles was very similar. You guys need to be more empowered. God, I have so many candles for that. I see that so often in readings, and I've noticed that with these YouTube readings. You guys have got to dig deep and believe in yourself some more. Where is the strength? Where is the empowerment? Where is the I deserve this? I'm good enough for this. Where is it? I say it at the end of every single reading. I talk about self-love. Self-love is number one. You love yourself first and everything else follows. Would you believe me on that? If you start believing me on that, you guys are going to start getting what you want. Pile number three, mountain Savory. If you chose Mountain Savory, this is your pile. What is blocking you financially? For financial success, what are your blocks, okay? Let's find out. First, it was the Ten of Swords in the first pile. Then we have the Tower. And now we have the Devil as our first card. I'm going to tell you that these cards are talking to us today. They've got things to say. They have things to say. 
when I shuffle these cards, I focus really, really intently on spirit. I always shuffle seven times because that's a very lucky number in hoodoo. And um, I just really put my energy into it to um, get the answers. I just say these people. I put the question out there and I say these people. And uh, I just really, really focus, focus, focus hard when I do my shuffling. I love that we got this one down here. I just talked about self-love, and here it is. God, somebody must be psychic in the room. Yeah, <laughs> just kidding. I just talked about self-love. I love that we got this. Okay. Well, the first card is none other than the devil. And in this deck, Jesus Christ, look, he's naked and he's like holding other people hostage and they're naked too. That's some kind of weird deviant thing. I don't know what that is about. Um, okay, this is very interesting. The next three cards all indicate traveling to me and progression and as a matter of fact the fifth card indicates it as well the next two cards are the exact same card from different decks we have the chariot beautiful and we have the chariot what does that mean well give me a second let's keep going here six of swords Another card of moving forward and moving out of waters that are treacherous and almost dangerous. I want to go through these right here and then we're going to talk about them. Two of coins. One of the cards I see so often. So often. And then what do we have? Knight of Wands. Okay. What does it mean? Great. Wonderful. What does it mean? Okay. Well, what I'm seeing here is you're being a bit held prisoner by yourself. Um, I believe that you're a little bit in bondage over something that has happened and I'm picking up fear. You want to know why? Because I'm picking up that there is some, there seems to be something that is a way. And I'm, I really feel that because the chariot twice and the six of swords indicates travel to me. And I do believe that this is probably in another city or even in another state. And the knight of wands doubles that, triples that, whatever you want to say. That is also a card about traveling forward, progressing, and wands are about work, um, you know, new experiences, being all about uh, you know starting things creatively and you know the two of coins is indicating to me that you know you're having some struggles with finances you're not feeling grounded you know maybe just kind of barely making it that sort of thing so i'm getting a sense that the devil is kind of kind of want to get all preacher on you over here but i feel like he's kind of holding you down you are being bound to something here I don't know if you are, there is not a card that is really indicating to me what is binding you. I don't have something here. Again, see, this is why, you know, doing just a general spread like this, I don't get enough information. Just to jump down here to this, we're going to come back and do more details, but we have the heart chakra. I love this. This is exactly what I just talked about. I said self love okay I'm a Reiki master I'm a holy fire two Reiki master okay um, if any of you guys ever have questions about that by the way we can talk about it I do distance Reiki I do Reiki on people and animals if you guys are ever interested in that I can do Reiki on your animals uh, through a picture um, I have a lot of experience with that um, this is self-love you guys it's self-love. And guess what we have right next to it? Hello. Yin and yang. Look at this. This is so similar. This is about getting grounded. This is about getting grounded. Well, it's, you're not having grounding. You're, you're, you're doing a little tilt-a-whirl over here. But what are they saying? They're saying getting grounded. And 
this is talking about you moving forward. You are scared, man. You're scared. You know, the devil can indicate addiction. The, the devil can indicate, you know, substance abuse. It can indicate, um, you know, a bad relationship. I'm not picking that up. Well, I'm not picking a bad relationship. Um, if, if if it is, it's, I, I'm not getting enough cards for that. Again, like I just said, it's not, It's this is just touching the surface. But the main thing that is coming through so clearly here is that there is a need uh, for you to move forward, but you are being bound. Why? Why, my friend? You need to ask yourself why. Do you feel that you're not worthy? Do you feel that you do not deserve? Do you feel that you deserve to just make ends meet and stay where you are and it's better off just barely getting by? Do you prefer to have things be chaotic? Let me tell you a little something that I have seen in readings over the years. I want you to hear this statement and tell me if it makes sense to you. For some people, listen to me very carefully. For some people, chaos brings them calm. I'll say that again. The chaos brings them calm. That usually happens more in a love reading. But some people feed off of instability. And when things are just not stable, they just prefer it. And you know what? It's okay. It's fine. That's just who you are. That's the way people are raised. That's the way people were, were brought up. It was embedded into their DNA. That is what so many of these readings go back to. If you go to a dynamite reader who knows what they're doing, they will take you back to childhood. Some of you say, I don't want to go back to my childhood. Tough shit. That is what a good reading is about because that takes you back to the present. Your past is so reflective. Or sorry, your present is extremely reflective of your past and your present is what is gonna predict the future. I don't wanna go on a tangent, but what has happened to you in the past is going to explain where you are right now. And understanding that is going to help you to move forward. Why do you think you have this devil card? Where do you think this came from? Why, why are you feeling like this? Do you think it's just one event? Well, where do you think that event came from? Where did it stem from? I want you to think about that. I can't answer that one question for you because I don't have enough cards and I don't have you here with me. But I'm gonna tell you right now, you're scared and there's a feeling of uh, not deserving here. And I'm gonna tell you right now, what I'm getting from spirit is that you need to go forward and that that is where your success lies and that is why and how you are blocking yourself. Pile number four, peace and calming. Let's do it. Pile number four, peace and calming. Come on. Jesus Christ, you guys, the devil. I'm going to tell you right now, I mean, I was really in tune with spirit. The devil next to the seven of cups. What do you know? I have really been in tune with spirit on this one because, man, my table thing is just coming off, isn't it? Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, oh. Well, that is...
is just wonderful, isn't it? That is a paradox. <laughs> this down here is just ridiculous. Okay. Um, pile number four. We got a toughie. Get ready. Okay. Um, it's really interesting that... So we have the Ten of Pentacles as your first, your first card. The Ten of Pentacles is very representative of a home life, but not only a home life, but a home life where there is money involved. Okay, a, a, a home, a home of wealth. Okay. We follow that up with the Ace of Swords. It's really beautiful in this deck. It's different in, in a lot of other decks. She's got her sword out by the beautiful sun. She's like on the side of that mountain and you can tell her hand is out. It's like she's praying. She's like praying for the answers, right? The Ace of Swords, give me clarity, give me strength. Help me to figure this out, man. But Again, I like to look at the synchronicity. So the Ace of Swords, well, let's just look at him because he looks horrible. The devil in this deck looks really, really evil and mean. And then we've got that Seven of Cups again. The devil next to the Seven of Cups is bad news. Okay, I'm gonna tell you that right now. And just just because we have that devil next to that seven of cups but right before it we had that ace of swords so what i see here is that this somebody is begging begging to be free over here from this because they are truly they are truly bound from not being able to figure out what the hell is going on and what's very interesting to me with my gold deck over here my legacy that i love gives me all the answers i ever need it's the most intuitive deck i've ever had it's very used here's our wheel of what came first seven of coins here's this want and this need to have that success to unblock themselves the harvesting card, right? Let's start something. I'm ready. Let's move forward. The wheel of fortune. I'm ready for success. I'm ready to do it. Look at these two cards down here. These two uh, Oracle cards. These could not be more of an enigma. I want to throw them on the floor and step on them. Clarity of belief followed up by indecision are you serious ah. all right spirit what are you doing my god is just whoa. all right i'm gonna tell you right now i'm a very strong intuitive and what i'm picking up for pile number four is there is a strong there is something going on with this family card Something about this family card is 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 really um, reaching out to me. It's really calling to me. Um, sorry, guys, I don't want my two dollar bills getting all screwed up. Um, it is really calling to me, and um, I I am feeling very led to. There's almost a sense of a responsibility or something that has to be done that is causing um, that's affecting money. The devil next to the seven of cups. Okay, the seven of cups can be an addiction. The devil can be an addiction. These two cards next to one another do tell me they do represent to me that there can be some kind of bad addiction 
And we do have the family card here, which tells me something about possible marriage or romance and, and money. Um, this is the first pile that came up like that. Um, and this clarity of belief and this indecision down here, um, it's almost like you don't want to believe what you know to be true and you're not able to make a decision about what to do. So I shouldn't really knock on these cards. It's not, it's not that they don't mean anything they do and I actually understand them very well. Something is blocking you financially and I, tr I, I just keep going back to that family card over there. Um, just intuitively, I get a strong feeling in my stomach about uh, responsibilities with family and a need. There's something about money with family um, that, is, that is somehow keeping you from being able to want to grow the way that you want to. Um, and it's not like, you know, cause there's children here. It's not like it's the children's fault. Um, but there is a lot of indecisiveness there and it seems to be that there is something very negative about it that is tied back to it. Um, <laughs> I'd love for somebody to email me and tell me what the hell it is. <laughs> um, you're desperately looking to get some clarity on this situation too. That's the thing. I mean, that's what I really love here is that you're you're looking for it. In the other spreads, I got some a little bit of victim mentalities with some of them, like where people were feeling like they weren't empowered. But I am feeling here like you are feeling empowered, like you do want to do something about this, and you you really really want to, but you're feeling like your hands are tied. Um, and it's almost like out of your hands, which tells me, tells me that there's another person involved somehow. This, ooh, this spread is very, um, this spread seems to be very involved. And, um, I feel like I could go on and on about it. I need some more cards, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I guess I'm just going to leave you with this. You feel really strong to me. I can feel the strength of this pile. Um, and I'm not just saying that I don't bullshit anyone. I assure you of that. The one thing I can say is that you're, you're going to find a way out of this. Um, you're going to find a way out of this. This devil and the seven of cups card is what is really tying you tying you down from you being able to have financial success. It's keeping you, it's, I, I, I keep envisioning like a water faucet with, with uh, water coming out, but it's like money coming out. I'm getting a sense of like money being wasted. It's like money just keeps coming out of a faucet. It just keeps flying out, flying out, flying out, flying out, flying out, flying out. But it's like, there's no reason why it's flying out. It, it almost as if, um, And, and it's, it's almost as if it's for some kind of, um, I don't want to say a legal thing, but, uh, I don't know. I'm just getting some de really defiant energy here and I feel like you're, it's like you're, you want to, you're trying to go against it, but you seem like you, um, might, <sighs> sorry, this pile is really, I'm starting to get a headache right across the, my forehead because I can, this is a very strong energy here. I'm feeling a controlling energy too. Mmm. Wow, yeah, this is a very strange spread. I'm the more that I get into it, the more I feel kind of a weird thing going on here. I'm actually feeling like there is definitely some kind of other person here that you're trying to maybe even get away from. 
that has to do with this. Ooh, you guys leave, co leave comments, leave comments on this one. I'm very curious to hear about this. I have some very strange feelings about pile number four and I'm actually worried about some of you. Um, go with your gut intuition on this and I hope I gave some clarity on it. I have a very, very heavy feeling about pile number four. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all I have for you because I can't dig any deeper. Pile number four, if you guys want personal readings, I can definitely help you, but I can't get any more with this. Okay, um, I'm going to do a video tomorrow on some of my things from my shop that could help you with um, um, money if you want to do that, or success, or love, or even getting out of relationships that are perhaps no good for you. And as always, it is my pleasure to read for you. I hope that you get something out of this. I know I give you guys some tough love, but that is the type of reading that I would appreciate and I would want. I don't want a sugar-coated reading. Again, thank you for spending some time with me today. It's been my pleasure. And I will put every I will put the uh, time stamps in and I'll put the oils in and all of my information to get in touch with me is there. And uh, do not forget self-love. Self-love is number one. I mean that you guys love yourself before you love anyone else and everything else is going to follow. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. It's been my pleasure. Have a good evening. Bye.